Hey guys, it's Jason here. I'm back again with our next episode. Today I have uh, uh, a wonderful guy here with me, uh, George Nash, um, all-round musician, scriptwriter, songwriter, and everything in between. So uh, I'm going to talk to him today. He's going to share a lot of stuff you might find interesting. George, how are you, man? I'm good. How are you doing? Thanks for coming. Thanks Thank for, you for, yeah. for you know, honoring the invite. Yes, um, made you it. know, uh, We're going to get into some things that you do. And please don't hold back yes. <laughs> share yeah, as much as you out. can. <laughs> our, our guys out there, they really uh, want to know. So yeah, uh, just introduce yourself and uh, what you do. And then we can get into the creative process. Yeah. You know, as you know, <laughs> yes, <laughs> what know. the episode is about, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, um, my name is George, mm -hmm. and I am studying film production okay. in Derby. I used to study music performance in music college, okay. where I played a weird kind of guitar doing, <laughs> like, drumming on it. And yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. But then that changed into studying film production, yeah, yeah. and I'm really into the camera and lighting department. Yeah. Yeah. And then I also do some script writing also. Man, you're good in all those areas. It's like... <laughs> I try so hard. <laughs> so what is it that you want to do? I think what you probably... What you've drawn the, in too yeah, much, yeah. Director of photography. Director stuff. of photography, yeah. 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 Well, Doing yeah. all the camera positioning and lighting. Yeah. All in one. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, I tell you, you're good in that as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or at least you've chosen what you want to do. Yeah. Um, so the reason I had you uh, come on today is because I know you do all these things. Um, and I just want you to come and share with our guys. Um, your work processes, uh, as, you, as you know, we do this po uh, program where we talk about, you know, creative people, they have a, a process, yeah, yeah. you know, when they wake up in the morning, it's like, okay, how does you, how do you prepare, what do you, do? Um, you know, <laughs> what do you do? So, yeah, so tell us about your creative process. How do you prepare mentally? What, do you have a process? Well, before a shoot. Yeah, before you shoot. Let's say in the morning when you get up, you know you have a big shoot coming. Do you have okay. a, uh, yeah. a template? <laughs> I try and make sure I get to sleep like okay. really early the night before so I can get up at least two hours before each shoot starts. Okay. Just so I can have breakfast and you know, yeah. at least be awake enough to yeah, yeah, yeah. actually be ready to film yeah. all day. Okay. Every day. okay. So, in terms of uh, um, preparing mentally, I know that you've, you've touched on, you know, so does uh, having a good night's sleep uh, make you perform better? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I get really just, I can't work if I'm tired. Okay. Is it eight hours for you? Yeah, I can. Eight hours. Eight is, hours. Is I can need eight hours every day, otherwise. Yeah. I just, I can't. I don't stop like functioning that much. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. I just need to sleep instead. No, I totally. <laughs> I, I totally get it. So, uh, m music wise, have you been playing for long? Um, yeah, I think almost this year would be nine years nine years yes playing the guitar man. a long time if you don't mind we're going to put some of your clips on here for people to yeah, really cool. see um you know when we're talking about playing guitar it's not just like Chords. You know, chords, you know, it's like proper playing guitar, upside down, and, <laughs> yeah, upside down and everything else. So yeah, yeah thank yeah. you. We're gonna put some of that here so you guys can see. I'm not making it up. He's a, he's a proper musician. He's a musician's musician. Um, if, yeah. if you you know if you know what I mean. So with the um, with the script writing, I know you write as well. Yeah. Uh, do you ever come to a place where it's called the uh, the writer's block? And do you mm. get those days? I try and only write when I've got a solid idea. Okay. Because that's also the only time when I enjoy writing. Or when you have ideas. Yeah. Because okay. if I don't have an idea and I'm trying to force myself to do it, it's just nothing comes. Nothing comes, and it's just impossible. So how how I many how often do you get those ideas? Do they come? So once you have one, you write, or you can store them somewhere in your head. Yeah, kind okay. of a bit of both. Okay. Like if I know I got a solid month where there's nothing on, I might start like just thinking up multiple multiple ideas okay and then when i got a really solid one in my head then i go okay i'm gonna write this and then in about three days i'll You'll be write done. out the entire script so when you say multiple what are we talking about how many ideas do you get at one given you know month or week or whatever i can usually around six or seven and then i choose the best one from that yeah yeah and I mean, your scripts, all of them I've read so far, yeah. <laughs> they, they're all good. They're like proper, proper. Oh, so, <laughs> so it's like you get six and then you just uh, swift through and see which one seem to have a, a more solid argument than, yeah. uh, than something you know, that's different to what everyone else is, is doing. Us. Does uh, reading a lot of research help or your kind ideas of, are just yeah. like, like um, most of my scripts and also songs and compositions okay. yeah. uh, based on like things that may have like happened recently in the news or like in my life. Wow. So okay. I try and like, even if the story is totally 
like nothing similar. There might okay. be like a small part in it where I'm like, this has happened. So then I branch off that and make the make full script out of it. it. Yeah. Oh. So do you then get blocks? Never get a block with an idea? When, once you have an idea that's established, can do you I, come to a place where, oh, I can't write further, I'm stuck? Not really. Not so really. I get the idea and yeah. then I think how it's going to start and how it's going to end. And oh, then right. the middle, I just, usually by the ending, you can work out what's going to happen in the middle. Wow. So you have the beginning and the end and then the, so the middle is easy to sort of uh, put things in, isn't it? Yeah. In your, in your head, yeah. Whilst I'm writing it, I know roughly what's going to happen in the middle, but I've got no idea what the dialogue's going to be gonna or be like, okay. what the action is. But as I, as I write one line, mm -hmm. I know what the next line will be. And then the line after that. You keep that, going, keep going. Yeah. That, that's, that's the best way of writing. Yeah. And have you, uh, what kind of scripts do you come into write? Have you written any long feature films or shorts? Not yet. Not yet. The okay. longest script I've written was 30 pages. 30 pages, but okay. But normally I write somewhere between 10 and 20 10 right 20, now. yeah. Oh, that's a lot of writing. Because once you yeah. put the action in there, it could easily be a 30 minutes film, isn't it? Easily. Yeah. It's like 2,000 words. 2,000, yeah, that's a lot. lot. That's a lot. lot. Yeah. That's a lot of words. Well, so then as a, as, a, as a musician, I know you're obviously playing a guitar. Um, was, it, was it easy to transition from that creative side of things into a filmmaker? Uh, or it was all just the same? It kind of happened out of nowhere. Okay. When, when I was a kid, like yeah. me and my friends in primary school had yeah. a handy cam. Yeah. And we used to make really, really awful films yeah. where we just run around and you know do kid things okay which we thought were good at the time but they're not <laughs> usually <laughs> when you you're a bit them. younger yeah, yeah. they, they, do, they tend, don't tend to be so good but yeah. when you're doing it at the time they look like they're the best thing that you've yeah. ever created feature films <laughs> yeah they are. yeah okay I did that from when i was about six till 11 years old oh, oh, and yeah. then yeah. two years i did art which didn't really go anywhere okay okay and then okay. from 13 till 20 I did music right. and then December 2020 was when I decided that it's time. 2019 I yeah. decided that I think I want to get back into film again wow and that's when I signed up to come to uni <laughs> so you you made that decision yourself or the parents yeah, were involved by or by your own because oh, yeah. cool. you know what you want to do isn't it yeah you know you knew that you wanted to be in arts but now you want to embody everything that arts has to yeah, uh, has exactly. to offer. So uh, cinematography, obviously, as a as a choice of uh, of work. Um, do you have a production, or you want to do it as uh, as a, a freelancer? I think as a production would be as a more production. kind of style. Okay, all right. Yeah. Wow. The thing that was uh, like annoying for music for me was it's very like solo. You're on your own yeah, the entire yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted uh, something that was more teamwork. Okay, okay. And film seemed like the best oh, idea yeah. to do that. Oh yeah. Without yeah. without team, you can't really make any film, can you? No, you, totally, know, you can yeah. try, but you will fail <laughs> flat. You can't carry more than one thing at a <laughs> no, time. <laughs> no, you can't set up the camera and then you quickly come and sit down and uh, yeah. try and try and. How do you relieve yourself mentally to make sure that you're you're always on the yeah on the same level? So, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So when it's extremely stressful pre-production and you don't have any time to yeah. like do things you'd normally enjoy doing, yeah. then it's usually going down. Down, down here. But I try and like every week take at least one full day off where I do okay. absolutely nothing. Okay. And I might go on a walk in the countryside. I'm from Wales, so okay, okay. that's like you have to yeah, walk. You have to walk. <laughs> yeah, it's like what else do you do in Wales? Yeah. Just walk in those nice country. It just yeah. becomes a part so, of you. Yeah, it does, does. Wow. Well, so, well, then that relieve some of that stress that you, you might yeah, be feeling. Yeah, okay. it clears my mind a lot. Okay. And then, other than that, I might do like music, okay. play guitar for a whole day. All right. Learn something, new song or something. Or I go rock climbing. <laughs> you, going back to the guitar, it's interesting that you're feeling a bit stressed and obviously you're overwhelmed with work. So picking up an instrument to you is a relief? Yeah, it is. Because oh, so since I've been doing it for so long, it's yeah. kind of like a comfort. Okay, thing. okay. Yeah. It's a go-to thing when you're feeling a bit uh, down and whatnot. Yeah, and wow. it's, it's just for myself. So like, okay. no, I don't have to worry about other people listening in or like... Okay. I'm not like playing this song for someone else. I'm doing okay. it just for me. All so right. It's like a good comfort. Wow. Yeah. So it's like uh, uh, when you play, the energy, uh, that sort of negative energy, mentally, 
you know, bodily sort of disappears and yeah. you start getting back to yourself again. Yeah, you could play a really angry song and then you could feel <laughs> good after. If you feel good yeah. after, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's something like hitting the wall if you, you, you know, <laughs> frustrated, you start up feeling better because yeah. you've hit something. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, what's, what's interesting about the, uh, the stuff that you're saying is, you know, it's not conventional. Most people don't do that. Most people no, will say, I'll go on holiday and, uh, and yeah, I'll do go this. Go to uh, Tenerife. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> go to Tenerife and do something there. But that's, that's something uh, so for me to know that, listen, it doesn't have to be uh, time away because obviously I, I go on the piano myself and mess around. Mm. Uh, usually that works as well. Yeah. Um, but we don't have a lot of walking places. No. Yeah. <laughs> we have no sheep. No sheep. <laughs> no sheep to look at. No but, cows. <laughs> so uh, we have obviously young people that follow uh, this channel. You know that yeah. they're always uh, expecting to to learn and you know pick up few things. What five things would you advise um, to young people that's just getting into the space of creativity? Doesn't matter, music, art, fine art, uh, film, yeah. whatever singing. Uh, have you got uh, five tips for them that you can? share mm. with them it doesn't have to be, <laughs> doesn't have to be things fun. that you know it doesn't have to be uh solid something stuff that helps you or stuff that uh you can think of that can yeah. be yeah i think the main one is to try and stay true to who you are and like that's it yeah that's the one so like if you're from wales like me and live in the countryside you might mm. if if you want to tell stories yeah that are unique and different to what other people are doing you'd like try and go back to your roots and okay. bring that through into what you're doing wow instead of trying to copy someone else because there's only one Ed Sheeran so why do you need a second one yeah because so like be yourself he's enough isn't he yeah he's enough for the world you only need one of each person <laughs> so you might that's as well amazing. be yourself that's amazing so be yourself yeah okay wow in everything you do I'm sure you guys have got that yeah try by all means to be yourself <laughs> <laughs> and what's the other one second one uh, you got to be find a way to motivate yourself okay. all the time. Okay. Like, um, cause just working through like just the project you do, you might get like burnt out okay. eventually. Yeah. So you got to find a way to balance the work that you're doing, which you might really love, but you yeah. also need something on the side to like okay. keep you like bring in like new stories into your head, which you can bring into your whatever creative passion you're all doing. Right. Oh, that's, you, you're bringing some bullets, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's the third one? Third one. Mm. Oh. Listen to other people, but like, don't take what they say as true. Like, okay. every decision you make should be from you. So okay. if someone says you can't do something, actually think about it and see if it's something that you could do or it's just something that they don't want you to do to do okay yeah wow so um when they say can't it's like you have to assess why they're saying that yeah and then like you're just you can't being, be yeah. a musician or something yeah. yeah definitely yeah i've come across those kind of people sometimes yeah. it's just to, to discourage you isn't it because yeah. they fail to live up to their dream they want to pass that on to someone yeah so if definitely. you're if you're easy going you end up taking wrong advice yeah, and, and you just have to follow what you want to do. Follow your point. heart. Yeah, definitely. What's the third one? What's the fourth one? I'm not sure about the fourth one. The, yeah, I think I think you know three is solid. The ones yeah. that you've given us, they're, three is they're, okay. They're, yeah, they're really good. Thank you for uh, for just having to come and chat with me, man. I know yeah, you're a very was. busy guy, very very busy person. <laughs> I'm not even making that up. He's very very busy. Uh, so I I'll do appreciate. <laughs> I do appreciate you just coming and sitting down here with me and telling me more about yourself. And uh, I know you do have platforms where people can reach you. Uh, yeah. Where can we find you online? If you can just spell it out for us so the guys can... Um, Instagram is probably the best one. Okay. I don't really post anything, but on okay. at George Nash Film is where I normally okay. look at the most. <laughs> that's at George Nash Film, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Films or just film? Just film. Okay, that's all on Instagram, yeah? It is, yes. Okay. Um, do you have any music that you're selling or stuff like that no uh not anymore no okay <laughs> i okay. used to but film has taken up so much time so much time so you don't create any more that yeah okay maybe when uni's done i'll get back into it dude you're creating for sale yeah all right. right now i've got so many songs but nothing recorded nothing recorded okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay okay do you record at home or you've got to i'd like to do it in the studio in because the studio. okay 
I'm not very good at editing. Okay, <laughs> no, there is. Yeah. It's, it's not easy, isn't it? Editing no, it's part so is difficult. Just, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna, uh, let me ask you about editing. Do you edit your own films or uh, are I you familiar with the editing software? Yeah, I do not use it, but it's okay. just not something that I enjoy as much. Okay, so all I right. I prefer being on set and around people ah, where ah. editing is in your bedroom, it's like isolated. this on your own. It's isolated, isn't it? It's, it's, a, very it's a lonely isolated. job. Definitely. It pays well. Yeah. For me. <laughs> <laughs> not for you. Listen, man, thank you very much for Thanks talking so much. to me. And I really appreciate it. And I hope uh, I'll bring you on when yeah. you have one of your uh, films out there yes. you know, to talk about the process. <laughs> Blinkers. Uh, yeah, Blinkers, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we're working together in a film now. And uh, yeah, when that is out, uh, I'll surely publish it in here for you guys to, uh, to, to have a look. But thank you very much, George. Cool. You have thank a soft, a very good afternoon. And uh, Thank you guys for watching and uh, remember you can subscribe, uh, it doesn't cost anything at all, it's all free. It's free. Uh, <laughs> free subscription and, uh, and uh, I mean I, I will endeavour to always bring people like George to come and, uh, and talk with you guys and just to get educated and so we share knowledge. Um, I, know I have this motto that uh, we, never, uh, we never aim to leave anyone behind. Everybody must come along and we all get to a level where we're, com we're competent and comfortable with ourselves in our unique skills as individuals. So yeah, uh, keep uh, watching our stuff. We're gonna bring a lot of talent. And I hope to speak to you soon. And remember, uh, don't uh, give up on your dreams. Yes. Uh, keep pushing, keep pushing. You're gonna break through. Thanks guys, I'll speak cool. to you soon. See ya.